Mark Magsayo. What is up next for him? There are three uh, belts that we're going to discuss and a fourth contender na medyo masasabi nating nakikisaw-saw lang. Okay, uh, Nisi, in order of uh, ease or popularity, which do you think should Mark go for? Sino bang una niyang dapat na hamunin na world champion? Well, sir, by context, ang nakuha niyang world title shot or he is now ranked number one in the WBC. So it's very obvious na si Gary Russell ang makukuha niya. But ang kinaganda dito is marami siyang options. Right now, he is ranked number four in the IBF. He, uh, but the IBF has yet to update their rankings because yung one and two are now currently vacated. Now, the belt there was won by Kid Galafad earlier this month. So possibly, uh, makuha rin niya ang title shot dito. Kay Kid Kailangan Galafad. problema doon ni di ba? Kasi ang IBF, madalas mm-hmm. gusto nila sa UK lumalaban. Eh, diba? Parang ayaw yeah. nila palabasin yung mga kampiyon nila sa UK para may, yeah. may home crowd sila. May pagkahinebra din niya mga yan. Eh. <laughs> exactly, sir. Uh, that's one of the hindrances na pwedeng ma-encounter itong team ni Mark Magsayo. Aside from that, is we have to remember na hawak din ni Mark Magsayo itong WBO international title. And by if you're going to look back, itong WBO international could be the key in getting a title shot. And ito nga, uh, Mark Magsayo had, has in his possession itong WBO international title. And he could... He could be he could face ito ang WBO featherweight champion na si Emmanuel Navarrete. And by looking at the rankings of the WBO, he's also number four in the standing. So possible na makalaban din niya itong si Emmanuel okay. Navarrete of Mexico. Uh, bakit hindi kasali sa usapan si Laywood ng WBA? Kasi maguloy talaga yung WBA. Now, uh, by checking on the rankings of the WBA, aside na magulo nga siya, meron siyang super champion, meron siyang interim champion, meron regular may gold, champion, silver, may gold, uh, silver. Balsa, ano pa ba? <laughs> Napaka-complicated. I think there's five champ, there are five champions in one division in WBA. Pero according to the latest update, they dropped out Mark Magsayo from the list and they have, they yet to explain bakit wala sa listahan si Mark Magsayo pero in the last update, Last month, wala si Mark Magsayo dun sa rankings. So, it's interesting kung paano, mag, how will play out, especially that Mark Magsayo is coming off a big a big victory against Seha over a week ago. Oh, ang, uh, sa akin dyan, tingin ko, ang pinakamadaling uh, kalabanin nga ay si Kid Galahad, no? si uh, Abdul Bari Awad. Kasi, uh, hindi kanya na na tatalo yung mga elite fighters kumbaga no yes, championship exactly. pero is uh, handed uh, James Dickens two of his three losses in his career mm. no mm-hmm. the the last one was uh, for that title shot pero ang problema nga lang doon ipupunta si Mark sa UK di ba at mm. hindi natin mapapanood dahil yung time difference <laughs> yes di ba hindi natin mapapanood alanganin yung uh, oras doon uh, mm-hmm. WBA, hindi natin alam. Napakalabo pa nung mangyayari dyan. Dahil uh, hmm. sabi ni Tony, sa discussion namin, ma- uh, makikita niyo mamaya na may, may mga mga gulong talagang mangyayari dyan. Uh, Gary Russell, uh, interesante para kay Mark, pero parang hindi gusto ng management team niya. Exactly. Uh, but the, Pero ang tinitignan ko dito is the confidence din in Mark Magsayo. He is open for this kind of challenges kasi for example, the Seha fight, it showed the qualities of being a world champion, the heart, the grit. But we have to we have to consider that he has yet to be tested at the elite level of featherweight division. And yun nga ang gusto ko rin mangyari for Mark Magsayo uh, is activity. Uh, hindi naman mo wala kay Mark Magsayo yung status niya as number one contender or let's say the WBO international title. If he keeps oh. on fighting, and Tama. to me at least give it give it a year or face two or three fighters in his division, 
particularly in in the under PBC, there is a Mongolian guy that I can I can even pronounce his name that could give him a test, a real test, a real feel of the featherweight division. Because he has to earn his stripes. Eh. At the moment, wala pang nakakalaban si Mark Magsayo na to oh. say na he is, he's at the elite level. That's oh, tama pas- kasi yung, <laughs> ano, yung dalawa sa apat na huli niyang nakalaban ay mga dating world champion na umakyat <laughs> sa timbang. Diba? Si Uto at ngayon si Seha. Kaya yeah. tama yung sinasabi mo. Wala pa siyang nakakalaban na totoong, totoong featherweight. No? Pero ang mm-hmm. isang iniisip ko dyan, kung magka, magkaroon man ng rematch si Manny Pacquiao at si Jordanis Ugas, eh malamang sa malamang ilalagay si Mark Magsayo doon sa undercard, undercard at malamang world title shot yun. Probably, sir. And di, and di na po siya give away. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to think about it because Gary Russell is fighting under PBC. So yeah. malaking, po- possi- mal- malaking possibility na mangyari ito in case that Manny Pacquiao gets a rematch against your Dennis Ugas. Okay, and now let's move on to our division discussion. No? Kasi may isa pang nakikisaw-saw dyan. Pero Jack Tepora is a non-factor. He has not fought in the last two years. He's, uh, mm. he, he lost the WBA interim title. Nakikisaw-saw siya. Hinahamon niya si Mark mm. Magsayo. Well, we, don't, we, we really don't know the real score between these two guys. So sila lang talaga nakakalam. But... Is it good for boxing? Yes, because I mean, it adds intrigue. It adds another color. It adds another layer. It's something that we didn't see in the past. Diba? It adds sophistication in the characters of the boxers. And at the, cur- at the current state of boxing, hindi na nahihiya because it's, it's parang taboo eh, na another Filipino boxer at the world level, at the world stage, calling out another boxer. Uh, another fellow boxer from the same country. Isa lang yun sa mga parang big no-no. Eh. Now, it gives them the liberty liberty to market themselves by challenging another boxer. And it's true. Uh, Jack Tipora was an interim WBA champion. And kung meron man siyang gustong targetin na, well, to put him back into the conversation... Eh, siguro, sa, siguro sa kanya, sakya na lang natin itong hype train ni Mark Magsayos. Particularly because Mark Magsayos won in Patik Passion. 